Welcome back to the score. In the past couple of weeks, we were able to track down the top five players per position in the NPBL. And by the way, if you missed our segments, you can watch them all online on YouTube, Facebook, or I want. Uno, dos, tres, cinco, at ngayon magtatapos tayo sa cuatro, the fourth position. And back with us to give their uh, top five power forward sa Liga ng Bawat Pilipino, our hardworking, talaga, hardworking MPBL commentators, Mix Gomez and Dip Dip Bianco. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. Ano pa itong hardworking na ito? Ano pa ba? Tama, Tama, ba? ba? Tama ba yan? Uh, okay, cuatro position. Power forwards in the, in the MPBL, you have your top five in the entire league. Go. Okay, let me just start by saying that we're hard to beat in this list, Tito Miko. That's why shout out to Don Reverente and Chris Lumapig, because of course they didn't make the list, but honorable mention. Sila. Number one po sa listahan natin ay si Marky. Sino pa ba? <laughs> From the Davao Occidental Tigers. It's a battle between Marky and John Wilson in the MVP race in the Lacan season. Uh, wala pa akong narinig na comment mula sa kahit kanino na tututol sa matchup na yan. Uh, ganun sila ko consistent, ganun ka reliable as always si Marky. Yeah, one word lang for Marky, no? Domination inside the paint. Lahat ng offensive rebounds kinukuha ni Marky, yung putbacks niya, automatic na yan para sa Davao, yung mga bata. Talaga may namamalang niya sa loob ng uh, paint. Talking about oh, good marks. Parang uh, dominating the mind games also exactly. in the intimidation. Medyo nag lay na. Pero very effective. Yung low, low post niya, ganda talaga. Mm. Next on the list, we have uh, Cedric Ablaza of the Makati Super Crunch. This guy is like the Vic Manuel, a.k.a. Muscle Man of uh, MPBL. Dahil, hindi lang dahil sa build niya, medyo same sila ng body type, ng muscles ni Muscle Man. But also the way he plays. He has a good mid-range jumper. And then inside, he out-muscles everyone sa poste. At saka yung rebound niya. What surprised me the most is he also has a leaping ability. One of the games he had recently, nagkaroon sila ng alley -oop. He caught the ball with one hand and then slammed it home. So, that's, that's impressive kasi mabigat siya. Exactly. Uh, and he's, he's not the tallest, no? Uh, hindi siya ganun katangkaran. He's actually one of the taken-for-granted players in the MPBL. Itong Makati na to, hindi kasi sila ganun ka-flashy, no? Mm -hmm. Pero yung depensa nila maganda. And uh, he led the way he was an all-star in the Datu Cup. So that's Cedric Ablaza. Now, uh, if you want to talk about taken-for-granted players, <laughs> isisingit ko itong ikatlo natin na si Robbie Selis. Kasi... Uh, itong player na to, nung nasa bataan siya, hindi siya ganun kataas yung minutes eh. Kaya nung nalipat siya sa Jensen, right. grabe, dumoble yung output niya in this season. Si Robbie Selis, his numbers will tell you, from 6.5 points, na doble yun, yung rebounding niya rin. And certainly, because of his arrival alongside Pamboy Raimundo sa Jensen, ngayon, playoff team pa rin sila. Right, I think the main reason why he's getting a lot of minutes is dahil sa bataan nga, sobrang dami nilang mga weapons sila. Basta madami silang shooters, guys who can score for bataan. But here in Jensen, as you mentioned, si Pamboy yung guardia nila, si Celiz yung mamumuno sa front court ng Jensen. And this is a team that is currently sitting at number 6 sa division nila and sa playoffs. Medyo malayo yung mararating nito. I believe that with Robbie Celis, iba pa yung ipapakita niya sa playoffs dahil nga yung veteran niya, yung pagiging veterano niya will work out in the playoffs. By the way, itong Jensen, hungry and in the playoffs because last year, they got knocked off in the first round. Yeah. So gustong gustong bumawi niya. Right. And then fourth on the list, we have uh, Richard Escoto of Iloilo, United Royals. Played for the FEU Tamaraos back in his college days. He was, he was already a leader back then. But here, dito sa MPBL, he elevated his game from college. Mas pinakita niya yung scoring ability niya. Doon kasi may mga inconsistencies siya back in his college days. Pero dito, wala siyang choice. Eh. Kailangan niyang gumawa. Yeah. Siya yung go-to man ng Iloilo pagdating sa clutch moments. He has to score. He's scored game-winning baskets uh, dito sa season na to. Si Richard Escoto kasi, nung college siya, uh, matangkad na siya eh, di ba, for FEU. And so, parang established na big man yung role niya. Pero sa Iloilo, nagtatransition na siya into a three. Sometimes even a two. Mm. So, analysts would notice na nag improve yung dribbling skills niya, yung penetration niya, which have been, which has, which have been very effective. Yeah, I, I follow him on Instagram and lagi niya pinapost yung mga three-point shots niya. Oh, yeah, di ba? <laughs> sa IG stories niya. Uh, so, that's Richard Escoto. And then, ang last player natin, this is also undoubtedly one of the top five in the league. Si Aris Junisio, Defensive Player of the Year. Paulit-ulit natin sinasabi dito yung kanyang dalawang game-winning blocks because people have to know that. Na meron siyang dalawang game-winning blocks in the season to save the game for Manila 
Plus, his numbers are there. All-star starter siya. Very, very exciting guy. Ang tanong ko lang naman, kailangan pa ba natin pag-usapan si Aris Genicio? <laughs> Pero ang sagot ko, oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Lagi! Oh, Pero lagi. siya ang galing. Yeah. Eh. That's the reason why he's going to the pros in the next season. Dahil he's a total package. As Migs mentioned, defense, offense, you name it. And mag again, the Manila Stars will be heading to the playoffs when as one of the top teams sa kanilang division and he's gonna be ready to battle it out there in the playoffs. Well, I think I think he can win back-to-back -back defensive players of the player of the year awards. You go ready? Yeah, that's why he's on this list. The top five power forwards in the MPBL: Marky, Cedric Ablaza, Robbie Celis, Richard Escoto, and Aris. John Nisha. Excellent list. Thank you once again, hardworking <laughs> MTBL commentators, Dip Dip Pianco and Big Zomis. Maraming salamat thank you. Thank you, And thank you for joining us. I'm Miko Alili, and this has been The Score.